Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com, here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 11 in the evening on Wednesday, December 23rd. We're going to uh, go over the quakes that have hit during the last 24 hours, and then we're going to go over the uh, warning for California, a very uh, serious warning for California, Southern California, and then uh, we'll go over the forecast across the globe, across the world. First of all, we're going to go to uh, Nicaragua, and uh, 4.6 hit uh, south of Managua, and that was in our 45% risk area, 4.6. 4.8 hit west of Athens. And we had a high risk area in that area a few days back, but uh, the risk area had diminished. So we did not forecast that one properly. This one here was a 5.2, 5.2 earthquake in uh, central to southern Sumatra. And our forecast was uh, like 70 to 65% in, uh, in that spot for that uh, 5.2 earthquake. This quake up in uh, northeast uh, Chile in Antofagasta, Antofagasta uh, was in our um, high risk area right in here, the 90% risk area. And this quake in the British Islands or British Virgin Islands, 3.7, was in our 90% uh, risk area here. All right. Well, we're going to go to our forecast maps now and close some of these windows here. We have a warning uh, for Southern California. And we're going to start with uh, that. A strong earthquake is likely in Southern California during the next, uh, well, this the, almost the 24th, so the next uh, 48 hours, the 24th and 25th, most likely late on the 24th into the 25th in the morning. <clears throat> and here's the forecast map for the 24th. Uh, 90 to 95 percent risk crossed uh, Southern California from uh, Santa Barbara to Los Angeles down to the Salton Sea. And the next day, the risk expands across most of Southern California. So looking for a strong earthquake uh, during the next 48 hours, 6.0 to 7.0 earthquake is likely from Santa Barbara to Los Angeles to the Salton Sea. And that is most likely tomorrow evening or the, uh, the evening of the 24th, but it could hit in the morning, uh, tomorrow morning as well. So keep an eye out for that. Strong earthquake in Southern California during the next uh, 36 to 48 hours. All right, in the Alaska forecast, pretty quiet across Alaska. 40% uh, begins to build into Southwest Alaska on the 24th into the 25th. And then a 70% chance for that, uh, of risk builds uh, near Kodiak Island on the 25th into the 26th. Down in uh, Chile, our Santiago Chile forecast, this risk here over Northern Chile is diminishing. And you can see it diminishes there on the 23rd and the 24th. And a 70% risk near La Serena. I believe that's the name of it. La Serena. Yes, La Serena, right in this area here, just east of La Serena, 70%. And then on uh, the 24th and the 25th, 80% risk just east of La Serena. Over in Italy, it looks like we're going to have a, uh, another significant earthquake near Mount Etna and uh, Catania in northeast Sicily during the next, uh, well, the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. And then that risk diminishes on the 25th and the 26th. So watch for a significant earthquake, about a 4.0 to 5.0 in northeast Sicily near Mount Etna. It could be another uh, eruption there or near uh, Catania in Sicily. And over in Japan, we have a very high risk down in the southwest or west portion of Japan. It builds in here on the 24th and the 25th. And the Shimane prefecture over here. And that risk extends over to uh, Tokyo, but highest risk out here 
in the west and southwest near Shimane Prefecture where a 5.5 is possible. And that risk continues to build all the way over to Osaka, Japan on the 25th and the 26th. Over in the Philippines, a 6.0 is possible down near Zamboanga, here down here in the southwest part of the Philippines during the next uh, 36 hours or so. And then the risk uh, diminishes on the 25th and the 26th. So during the next uh, 24 or 36 hours, a, about a 6.0 is possible down in southwest Philippines near Zamboanga, interesting city. All right, over in uh, Greece, we have this risk out here west of Athens, Greece. And we could get a 4.5 to 5.0 out in uh, Western Greece from the 25th into the 26th of December. All right, Central America, the risk is building in the Southern, where well, there's a 60% risk in Guatemala during the next 12, 24 hours. And then the risk begins to build into Costa Rica and Panama. And then by the 25th and 26th, it looks like a 5.0 to 6.0 is possible in far southern Costa Rica and western Panama. 5.0 to 6.0 is possible southern Costa Rica and western Panama on the 25th into the 26th. All right, the Peruvian forecast and Ecuador forecast. Uh, the risk is uh, diminishing across the Northwest Peru and Ecuador. You can see it diminishing here in each forecast and by the 24th and the 25th. Um, it diminishes to 55% and then 25th and 26th, you can see it's almost gone there. So that risk that produced those quakes near Ecuador is diminishing. I mean, we can still get a uh, 3.5, 4.0 in that area, but uh, it looks like it's diminishing. And over in the Indonesia forecast, uh, we had this risk here in central uh, Sumatra, and then we had a 5.2 down here. The risk is, was building across the southern Sumatra on the 23rd and 24th, and uh, residual amount of energy here in uh, central Sumatra on the 24th and the 25th, and then that diminishes here on the 25th and 26th. All right, in uh, Taiwan, looks like most of the risk in Taiwan over the next uh, few days is, well, it's 40% here on this forecast, but uh, the 24th and 25th is in the northern part of Taiwan, but most likely up in here in the northern, way in the northern part of Ryukyu Islands and southern Japan. And it builds in there in 25th, 26th a higher risk in the far north of Ryukyu, Ryukyu Islands in the northern uh, of the, uh, this Ryukyu Islands here. All right, the Caribbean forecast. The risk, as we showed you, was in the uh, British Virgin Islands that produced that quake there. And that begins to diminish on the, uh, the next forecast. Risk begins to build in Venezuela, the 24th into the 25th. Looks like we get a 5.0 or larger in Venezuela, in northern Venezuela. And then that risk diminishes to the 25th, 26th, maybe a 4.0 on 25th, 26th. But a more significant quake on the 24th and the 25th, maybe a 5.0 in northern Venezuela uh, during that time. And the Seattle, Washington, and Oregon, and Idaho forecast. Um, 4.0 is possible in southern Idaho, the 22nd to the 23rd. Well, that's an old map there. 23rd into the 24th is where we are now. And northeast Nevada, this uh, risk here in southwest Idaho could produce a 4.0 to 5.0. And then that risk diminishes there on the 24th and 25th. And then increases on the 25th and the 26th in southeast Idaho down into the Salt Lake City. Over in Turkey, let's click on that map here. And 23rd to the 24th, southern Syria. And then on the 24th and 25th, looks like eastern Iraq is uh, high risk there. 
and then uh, next uh, south of the Sea of Marmara, we could get a 4.0 in that area, area of risk there, 24th and 25th. And the 25th of December and 26th, looks like a south central uh, Turkey could get a 4.0 to 4.5, maybe a 5.0 in southern south central uh, Turkey. Once more, we're going to go over to the uh, California forecast, looking for a 6.0 to 7.0 uh, from Santa Barbara down to the Los Angeles area to the Salton Sea. So we have strong uh, signals that are coming in during the last few days. Uh, we even had a, a very strong signal on the December 12th and uh, 13th. And uh, that produced a 4.9 up in Mina, Nevada but it didn't trigger what was uh, going on here in the southern portion of California. And I believe that would trigger this time, it would trigger that quake. Strong quake is likely in Southern California during the next 48 hours, most likely on the 24th in the evening into the 25th in the morning, but it could occur as early as tomorrow morning in uh, Southern California. Happy holidays to everybody and uh, appreciate you uh, subscribing here at uh, YouTube and following our forecast. Thank you so very much and we'll keep you updated. Please stay safe in Southern California for the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. Looks like a strong quake coming to the uh, Los Angeles basin and surrounding areas. So stay safe and uh, God bless. And we'll talk to you very soon. We'll talk to you tomorrow night. And uh, we will see you soon. Thank you.